okay guys our chat application tutorial our real-time chat app tutorial continues and this video i'm going to show you i'm going to be updating the user's profile and then in the last episode we worked on user authentication and right now we are going to update the user profile and if you've not gotten the source code you can get the source code through the link in the pinned comments or you can also get the, you can also find the link to the source code in this video's description so check it out and get, get the source code so you can follow along easily so right now to be able to update user profile so we are going to create so we are going to go down to the what was it called again we're going to, we are going to use our forms.py file this time around so let's do that right away forms.py this is our forms.py file so we are going to create a profile form and this time we are going to edit from our model form you understand we're not going to use the we are going to use the model form this time so you need to import your model form on top here and also import the profile model and then we're going to use the so you just have to do this then and you have to set this field's name username the first name the last name and the profile picture because we are going to be updating these fields you understand so these fields they come from the profile model let me show what i'm talking about all of these stuffs are open let me just close them so if I, you can see we have the profile model here so now we just need to update the username the first name last name, my profile picture that's why if we check we see here i have to list out the fields i just need to update understand so once you've done this already, you have to do this in your do this in your forms of pi fi and once you've done this now come out to your views of pi okay so your views of pi it's under the update profile function so we are going to start working on the update profile now so for the four i'm going to just make come here and say form should be equal to profile form so you need to import the profile form from your forms of pi to import this into your views of power you get so form is equal to profile form once you've done this now we're also going to get the specific we are also going to get that we want to get the profile we want to update so we want to get the specific profile we want to update so we're going to just say user should be equal to request.user and then we're going to get so we're going to say profile should be equal to profile.object.get user equal to user and once we've done this we're going to also do lastly we are then going to simply i'm going to simply set the instance of this profile we're going to simply say instance should be equal to profile so why we are doing this because whenever why we are doing this is because if while trying to update the profile we want to have the current profile information in the form hope you get so i'm going to just do form we'll do form okay so once we are done now we pass the form into the context and then let's see how it looks like so now once you render out this form on the updates on the update profile template in a stance list on the on the HTML page let's render out the form okay I'm gonna simply just comment this out and I'll say for fields and form for field and form and then just simply just pass on the field so let's see how it looks like to the browser go down to slash update profile slash updates profile what's happening line 7 to 7 let's see what is showing oh sorry if you request that user let's this is I think it should be request that user I had to add I added parentheses that was the issue there Okay, now I can see now currently we have maybe logged in as a user. Maybe it's currently logged in. If you go down to the profile page, to the home page, index page rather, you can see maybe it's logged in. Once I go down to slash pro slash update profile, I'm gonna see our information. So now it's so you can see our information is filling up the form now. But so I want to be want to be able to like update this user. So we're gonna go down to the view function again and then we're gonna add in the the post request. I'm gonna say if request 
dot method is equal equal to post we are going to simply just say form should be equal to form is going to be equal to we just paste this here to make things faster and explain so I'm going to say request that post refresh this the first one here request that post it, it has refreshed the data in the form request that files for example now we are trying to also update user e profile picture that's an e that's an image file that's why we have the request of file here and this instance refers to the specific this instance refers to the specific profile we are trying to update instead so that's it and once we've done this we're going to check if the form is valid a form that is valid then we are going to simply save we're going to say form dot save you understand and once we've done this we're going to redirect we're going to simply return redirect to the same page where we are it's on with direct, it's going to say update profile. On this profile, so I think this is all we want to do. I think this is it. So once we've done this, let's see if it works. The browser, refresh the page. Okay, now, so right now, I'm going to simply just say, let's just change this to Sami. So I'm trying to update Mary's last name to Sam, from Sam to Sami. Once I click on submit now, let's see. Okay, true. Okay, you need, need to add the CSRF token. I forgot. Let's add that here. CSRF token and come back here. Refresh the page. And let's change this to Sami. And then. Oh, it has been updated. Now it's now Sami. It has been updated. That's good. And last, I want to be able to also add a profile picture. Understand? So how do you go about that? So in your settings.py, if I go down to your settings.py, go down to your settings.py file. Okay, let me show what I'm talking about. Just seem to add this to configuration. Add this to your media URL and your media roots. Media URL is just the same as your what's it called? It's the same as just the same as your static URL. You understand? And your media root, this is a folder that is going to hold your image files instead this is for the code media once you just come once you set this up go down to, after you've done that go down to ui.py file for your django project the ui.py file for your django project open it up i need to add these small settings you need to add this oxo instead so you get so you need to add this and make sure you import static and settings for this to work instead import this to for this to work. So once you've done this i think we are good to go that's good because let's try and add let's try and add a picture for Mary. So now update now. Let's pick something, give her this, open, and then submit. So right now you can see Mary now has a picture. If I open this, you can see the picture. That's nice. It's working. And lastly, remember I'm gonna show you something else I just remembered. From my from the update profile.html I have this attribute called enc type equal to multi platform data. Make sure you include this on your form and also in your views. Make sure you also include request of files. You understand? Please follow this order. First, you have to put in request of post, then request of files, and then instance. So, for it to work, so right now we'll be able to update our user's profile. Well, but the problem you can see this is kind of getting out of the page out of the page okay what am i going to do now so let me see what's let's let's see how this works um it's getting out of the page what are we going to do about this now so let's see if i need to go with style let me see the update profile where are you is it here okay okay we might just have to just set overflow on this register from container oh this is spelled wrongly container let's see oh it's okay we have to set an overflow to register from container. Let's just do that right away. Let me just try it up here. 
Ctrl C and then put it here. Let's overflow should be auto overflow auto. Okay. Still not working. Okay. Let me just clear out the padding, the margin from this. Uh, there's a margin let me remove the margin I think that's one of the issues but from the one I did from the from the from the one I'm from the main source code I wasn't facing that issue so if you can get it and see what I I can't remember what I did there that's made it work fine over here I'm having some issues with the styling just get the source code and you see for yourself everything is working fine there Okay, leave your page. Okay, I think I'm gonna. I think it's better now. Everything is kind of jam packed, but it's working, working fine. Okay, it's fine now. So we're able to update user's profile. Hope you understood. We need to update user's profile. I'm gonna work on this page later on. I'm, I'm gonna work on it later. So I think now. So now let's try some. Let's try a different user. So let's go down to the own page now. So I'm gonna log out maybe and log in as let's log in as Clinton. Let's say Clint login. Okay now so click on this. So I already appended the update URL on that icon. Let me show something about. Mm, where is the icon? And this icon, this is the update URL there. You can see that. So now also be clean thing now. Let me just say clean. Yeah, I know. So now it has changed to clean. So once you've done that now, click on the I can also give clean a profile picture. You already has one I already tested before making a video. So I can then submit. You can see it's now clean. So now everything is working. The update profile is work. Okay, let's give it a profile now. Let's choose a profile. Let's choose a let's, let's create a picture rather a profile picture. Open and then submit. Perfect. It's working fine. We check the profile is there. Everything is working fine now. So you need to update the user's profile. So we are done with this episode. So get the source code so you can follow along easily. So we are gonna see in the next episode. So stay blessed and bye bye.